Where, where am I? Am I being sacrificed? Nice sound effects. What? A cross with you? Whoa. Okay, okay. Wavelet Audio's new sample library, Groth, promises to take us back to the Dark Ages. The sounds of mystical old northern gods, ancient cultural traditions and forests suspended in frost, packed in one modern cinematic sample library. To fulfill that promise, Groth contains playable string instruments, percussion, vocals, synths, loops and sound design elements. Let's take a look at the instrument sections and find out if Groth is the stuff of legend or just another sacrifice on the way. Opening the first instrument, the Tagel Harper, immediately gave me the Witcher vibes. It's a bowed Norwegian instrument with three strings. With Groth, they didn't sample each of the strings individually, but in the way it's actually performed. One string plays the root note, and the other two are used to add a melody on top. There's multiple tunings, four different rebound speeds, and tons of dark folk atmosphere. The acoustic guitar comes with sustains, palm mutes, and harmonics, plus a couple of percussive sounds. It's possible to adjust the volume of the finger slide effects, and you can change the stereo channel delay time, which I like a lot. The scary strings articulation from the solo cello is atmospheric and there are a few more special articulations that support the signature sounds that Groth is aiming for. Textural, dark and somewhat creepy. The same goes for an orchestral violin and cello section with only three articulations Sol Ponte Cello Sustain, Sol Ponte Cello Tremolo and Harmonics Tremolo. I think it makes perfect sense to not allocate time and resources for a wide range of standard articulations that we already have libraries for anyway. Instead, they focus on their vision of a dark contemporary cinematic sound. One of the more interesting instruments in Groth is the repetition sample Dombra, with four velocity layers triggering four different speeds. There's also a patch where you control the speed with the mod wheel instead of the velocity and have the layers crossfade. Especially the highest velocity layer immediately evokes that medieval folk atmosphere I'm looking for. 
Groth's percussion section comes in four relatively simple patches. We got ensembles, single percussion, single sweetener percussion and wood percussion. There's three percussion settings that I like a lot. A presence slider for fast mic mixing with one drag of the mouse. A darkness brightness slider to adjust the tone of the percussion within seconds. And snapshots for specific mixes like dry, the full epic mix. All of these settings help me get great results in no time and allow me to focus on playing the drums while still having control over the sound. Ah, and you also have an option to make a flam out of every sound. Nice. A sequencer lets you create and save your own rhythms and already comes with prepared presets that you can use to get started. The quality of the drums is amazing. They sound rich and impactful and make me hungry for more, especially in the wood percussion. It's sparse, but really good. The sound effects section contains what you typically imagine from a sound design library. It has booms, hits, pings, risers, whooshes, etc. But also special treats like warbands and horns, signature sounds and a very interesting sounding kangling which is made out of a human leg bone? Awesome! Finally my medical degree pays off. I'm glad that the sound design in Groth focuses on organic sounds that again fit the narrative purpose of the library. Breathing, shouting and orchestral effects are combined with more hybrid effects very impressively. My favorite utility feature for the sound design is that you can time the impact easily. There's no need to drag the MIDI on the grid to line up those hits manually. Simply select the timing, for example one quarter note, and place your MIDI one quarter note before the new bar. It'll hit exactly on the new bar and works flawlessly. The loops and pulses bring back a couple of old friends like the Targel Harper and a huge amount of cello patterns. They also introduce new colors to our palette. A didgeridoo, low pulses, and the, in my opinion, very useful marching, breather, and clocking loops.
These make a perfect foundation for driving cinematic or horror tracks and are among my favorite sounds from the library. We got quite a lot of stuff in the vocals. There's a female legato with two types, standard legato and melismatic ornamented legato. They're quite good and like all of my vocal libraries are most convincing in slower passages and when less exposed. A male legato aka Bobby blesses our ears with airy and soft o's, a's and hms. The amount of breathiness varies a bit from note to note, especially in the R's. This makes some legato intervals a bit inconsistent in, I think, the audible amount of air exhaled. But the tone is beautiful and this effect becomes much less noticeable in context. I didn't expect such a soft and pretty voice in this library and it's a very welcome surprise. But don't worry, we'll get to the shouting now. There's some pretty nasty and well done throat singing in Groth. On the left part of the keyboard there are softer notes and on the right we got the real deal. These will make for some great atmospheric pedal notes. In voice sequence, we can create our own chant phrases with a huge selection of syllables and the options to adjust their timing and volumes. There's one male and two female voices that you can balance. And the best thing is, they can whisper and shout. Wavelet Audio kindly includes presets to give us a hand. Hearing the raw energy of these voice sequences in one of the official demos was the first thing that sparked my interest in this library. There's a tuned down version of the voice sequence patch and a lady yelling at us ferociously. I... <sighs> there are 19 pad-like synths, again with a very nice organic sound that makes them fit into the modern folk universe Groth tries to create. Some even have gorgeous detuning mapped to the mod wheel. <music> Lastly, there's a set of drones that are among the most evocative and atmospheric I've heard so far. Groth is a fantastic cinematic toolkit that caters to the style of dark fantasy universes like Vikings or The Witcher. It's easy to use and fast to get a great sound out of. The powerful sound design with haunting textures and marching rhythms is what really shines in my opinion. And it provides the perfect foundations for the strong vocals and folky instruments on top. There's inspiration behind every corner and I really cherish libraries that immediately summon images and entire scenes in my mind. Groth does exactly that spectacularly well. You can check out Groth at Wavelet Audio's website. I wrote a little demo piece with Groth. I'm not sure if it's Witcher, Viking or Pirate, but I like it. I used only Groth. Before we jump into the demo, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel to help me reach my goal of 1000 subscribers by the end of the year. Thanks a lot, enjoy the demo and see you soon.